Right, so let's build this house, 21 by 17, um, you're going to need. So across the front, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Three gaps, but we'll just put the stairs of the quartz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 21 by 17 of the bush going all the way around. So 21 where we've got the stairs, 21 going all the way across the back here, 17 at the sides going all the way around like this. Just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this we're going to go up too high but obviously where the stairs are we're not going to do that we're just going to fill that in across there so we're going to go to too high going all the way around here so just going all the way around just too high okay once we've got that now on the inside we're just leaving a one gap going all the way around and then just filling the rest in and we're going to do this one up too high as well. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to place another three stairs on here. And then we're going to fill the rest in with quartz. So we just fill all this gap in going all the way around. Okay, so now we've got this little bit here. So on the whole of the inside, we're going to fill it like this, apart from leaving one gap where we've got the staircase, which is going to be the door. And we just bring this going all the way around to... As you can see, we should have a shape like this. Now we can just make a little doorway here. So I'm making sure it's too high, enough for a door. And we're going to place one on each corner like this. So one on each corner, and then round to here, one on each corner round to here one in each corner and then one here so as you're going up here perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the light gray carpet or you can use the white carpet and just place it on top of each other until we've got like this lot sort of little balcony area so we're going to go around it and then on top of these bits here just like that so place one on top place a row of carpets and then a row of carpets on top going all the way around the building Okay, once we've done that, we're going to do these corner bits. So one, two, one, two in each corner. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so at the front here, what we're going to do is count one, two, one, two at the side here. This is where we're going to have our window. Same here, one, two, one, two. This is where we're going to have our window. And we can actually go up one more higher and we can go over the top here now, just like that. So at the back here, we can go up one higher, go one up the top and just go across. And we can do the same here as well, just like that. So our windows here, we're going to count one, two, three at the sides. One, two, three at the side here. We've got our window there. And we're going to do exactly the same left and right hand side. So one, two, three, and just fill it up to the top. One, two, three, fill it up to the top. And you can go straight over the top. <clears throat> now at the back, we're going to do the same with these. So we're going to put one up the side, making sure you've got a three window, fill that in. One up the side, three gap. So you should have a three window just like that. So as you can see, it should be exactly the same from the front. So we're counting one, two, and then you've got your window. And then we should have like three windows at the back here. Now, what we're gonna do now is something a little bit different. We're gonna put something across the bottom of these ledges. So I'm gonna grab some slab, just like this. And we're gonna put some slab going across here. And we're gonna do the same here for this window and the ones at the front and the side going all the way around exactly the same now we're just going to get some black stained glass you can use some normal stained glass whatever glass you like and we're just going to put one layer going underneath like this so it's kind of like an open and shut window something a little bit different and then we can do it here as well and at the side of the windows we can choose to do something i'll just make sure i get this going all the way around and then i'll change the time so we've got that so far okay now what we do you can choose to do this if you would like get some light gray uh, terracotta and just fill it at the sides there now if you don't want to do this you don't have to because obviously you're removing blocks but just put them either side of each one you just want it to like this going all the way around to the side window exactly the same just doing that filling it in like that same at the front here like this fill it all in fill it all in like that perfect we've got a nice little home coming along so now what we're going to do now is we're going to grab 
our stone brick but what we can do is we can actually do a layer of the stone brick and then fill the rest in with white so we'll grab our white quartz stairs and we're going to grab our stone brick stairs so i'm going to do the stone brick going across the front here just like that and we we'll go to the back of the building do the same here going across and then we're just going to put stair under, stair under until they fill at the top. We're going to do it at both sides. So just till they meet at the top and we're going to fill the rest of it in with quartz. So I'm going to speed this a little bit up. We're just stair under, turning stair under until they meet at the very top. Once they've met at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to place this like this so stay underneath each side and stay underneath this side and then we're going to grab a slab of the quartz and the quartz is going to go across the top so place one on top going over the top like this now if you would like what you can do is grab a slab and just put it over that bit so it kind of matches in so just a normal slab and just put it on the end here so it's kind of like ending it and then what we can do is get the quartz and fill the rest of it in just filling the whole roof in with the quartz so i'm going to fill this in front and back so just joining these all together Now once we've done that we're going to grab our glass and if you're in the Flow HD you've got these black lines underneath it but if you're in the normal texture pack you could always fill it in with just the quartz and add some windows but as you can see it just gives it that modern sort of look that I think looks really cool so as you, you can add it there and we can add it at this side and I'll come back once I've filled in this side. Okay, so we've got both sides filled in. So now what we're going to do is we can grab maybe a birch or something like that that would blend in with it quite well. And we're just going to fill it up like this. So just filling it all the way around. I'm just going to fill the whole top floor level in and we'll find a place where we can get a staircase going up. Okay, so we've done the top and now I'm going to fill in the bottom here. Just filling it all in the same with the birch. Once we've done that either side, what we can do is grab our full blocks and just fill up where we have our doorway. Just across there and then we can just put maybe a slab in there or something like that so we can get down. And then at the side here we can make some little kind of um, little ledges where we can place stuff whatever you'd like you can divide the room however you would like now for the staircase you can have a one staircase you can have a staircase going up from here you could even have it where it's just kind of like this and you've got like a little thing that you can get through so you could maybe grab a wooden trapdoor put it over there and you can put one on each thing so it kind of looks even but you could have a stair set coming up from one of them just to make it look nice so I'm gonna grab it and put a stair set maybe from about here so I can just put this up the side here that leads to that area now you can divide the rooms off however you'd like so say if at one side you could divide it off and make a doorway wherever you feel is necessary now you can put it up to here you could obviously have your doorway here so it's out of the way of that little area there so it's not interfering with these windows and things like that so you could have like a divided room off here when you come through here and you have this area where you can come through you could even have a little space where you can just see all the way through the doorway you could have all sorts of little things that you could do you could have like little stone areas you could have like a stone going up from here stone coming up from here you could have a little fireplace going from there a little seating area something like that and then obviously just to get through here you can get on here and make it this into a bedroom so you can do whatever you like it's a really simple modern sort of look i'd love to see what you guys have come up with for the interior and stuff like that uh, but hopefully this gives you a nice little template then of course we're going to put a door on so a door grab a door of your choice in the flow hd the doors look like this but i would probably go for a birch or something like that you can probably for, put it from the inside like that and then you've got a little bit more depth and if you want to add a little bit like a little balcony or something like that 
just going across like that but as you can see it's a really super simple house but you can obviously add whatever you like into the build you can add like a little bit like this and then put this on instead so you have like little corner blocks so let's put a little corner block on here for each one i think that would fit perfectly so we'll grab our monster egg one obviously you're not going to use the monster egg one it's just a bit silly and um, but yeah like that place it on boom 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 you can kind of mess around with different ideas adding buttons and things that you feel would make your house look a little bit better a little bit more standout ish like so let's say that you got your buttons placed them on the side if i can actually get a hold of them so one on each side here you know so it kind of looks like it's all connected in together it's got a little bit of a different look i'm not gonna have that one there you can have one at the front here as well adds to the build one either side here or something like that you can obviously do this as well so way across the top say if you don't like that you want to add a little bit to it by adding just the normal stone brick slabs and have that going across the top just so it gives it a little bit more to the build but as you can see really super simple but it's quite nice you can always add stuff going like this to divide this wall you can have a little balcony coming out from there but as you can see there's so much more you can add to it like in these corners here say if you think oh that the corner is a bit plain i could maybe add something like a pillared quartz in each one so get a pillar quartz coming up the side there and as you can see you can just keep adding to it keep adding to it keep making it your own but i kind of wanted to make a, a small little modern cabin you could do this in the birch wood you could do it in any wood of your choice uh, you can mess around with different colors different things whatever suits you so you can have a little kind of like roof points off here you could have like chimneys coming from here as well so if you had a double chimney at this side maybe use a different block maybe have this coming out this coming out here like that maybe get something like an anvil get on top you now got a double chimney so yeah there's so much you can keep adding to your build to make it nice and modern different add some pools around the area if you would like you can add something like your wooden trap doors at the side if you feel it needs something like that to make it stand out a little bit more so let's let's try this let's see what it looks like see if it's worth doing yeah and you still see that little thing coming through there so there's so much you can add to your build that really does make it stand out different from everybody else's and this is what i'm trying to teach hopefully you get something from it and um, but yeah um make sure you slap that like button if you got anything from this or you think it's quite a nice house and uh, you're going to use it and uh, definitely does help the channel but anyway guys i shall catch you in the next video i'm almost addicted signing out peace